Hi, my name is Natchez Phelps and I'm with the Sped Homeschool Review Crew. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you Simply Charlotte Mason. Now I'll tell you that before my children got their diagnoses, I was really interested in Simply Charlotte Mason. I found their approach gentle, simple, and just beautiful. I was drawn to their art and the way everything was just beautifully inter intertwined. I remember even going to the, our local homeschool store and spending like hours looking at their guides. And then when I got, when, then when my children got their diagnoses, I was like, I just, I'm not sure that this would work. And I've spent some time the past few weeks reviewing um, Simply Charlotte Mason, and I've made a few discoveries, and I wanna share those with you today. Okay, right, so the first one that I wanna show you is Enrichment Studies. Now, Enrichment Studies, they have free downloadable samples on their site, right, if you're curious. So Enrichment Studies is kind of the extra stuff, right? Maybe it's the extra stuff that we don't necessarily get time to do as special needs parents, right? I know a lot of us focus on the reading, the math, um, then maybe the science and getting to therapy and it's just intense. And what I like about Simply Charlotte Mason is that it reminds us to slow down and, um, find these little pockets of time where we can just enjoy our children and go gentle. That things don't have to be so hurried as I think sometimes they are. All right, so enrichment studies, it includes picture study, poetry, Shakespeare, music study, nature study, hymn study, scripture memory, handicrafts, art instruction, habit training, foreign language, and then a family read aloud, which is literature. So what I find unique to Simply Charlotte Mason is that when you get something like their enrichment studies, you're, what you're essentially purchasing is a guide. Okay, so it's telling you um, your, resource list, your resource list for the term, um, and then it tells you to pick your read aloud, and then it kind of gives you a, a schedule. All right, so what I think is interesting though about the read aloud, for example, is because you don't purchase necessarily the read aloud from them, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And so you could do your read aloud as an audio in the car on the way to therapy. You could do your music study as um, maybe listening to a particular composer every morning while the kids are getting dressed or while you're making breakfast. Um, you can really just find those pockets of time and just kind of make things gentle and insert and relax in your day. That, that's, what, that's what I have found with this. Um, and it just gives you so much flexibility too. And because I think sometimes we're used to buying like these all in one curriculum and then getting them home and then going, wait, this just, this isn't going to work. And how do I make this work? With Simply Charlotte Mason, you get to pick your resources. It gives you a guide and says, this is what you need. You need um, poem. You need Longfellow poems. You need a music study. You need. Um, you're going to practice some hymns, but because it doesn't supply you with the resources, you can then go and do some research and find the resources that are going to work for you. And that is really what I think is one of the highlights of Simply Charlotte Mason. Okay. Now, some of the resources they do have. And then others, they tell you to just go and look at the library. So they are encouraging you to go and make this curriculum work for you and to make it flexible. All right, so I will give you an example. So right here, it will tell you some resources you may find on public domain and then which ones you can find at your local library. And I will tell you too, just a little trick of the trade here is that handicrafts for me are time to do some extra fine motor. And I have some little boys that really aren't able to follow along maybe to a video or to a, um, or an art class, but they will stay, but they can do maybe a paint by number or play with Play-Doh for sculpture and all of that counts. And you can sit down and you can do that as a family. So for example, I can have my daughter 
take the Simply Charlotte Mason sculpture uh, video lessons, she can do that while my other son is maybe playing with Play-Doh, or I might put some pony beans in some Play-Doh and have him, you know, um, just work on his strengthening with TheraPutty. And it, it can be, you can make it work for your family and think outside the box at the same time it's being family time. And that's what I, that, that's what I just find so delightful and interesting about Simply Charlotte Mason. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you um, their visits to the Middle East. They do have different visits to uh, various continents and their visits are essentially you are going to be making a map and then you and then it tells you to go into a couple of books one of them is hungry planet and now what i what i also like about simply charlotte mason is that the curriculum uses pictures of real people and real things around the world you're not going to find cartoons and so here for example in hungry planet what this is known for is um showing the foods that families eat around the world and it goes into how much their food costs and so you could work on budget with your family you could in comparison and then also it includes a recipe now my kids really like to cook and so this is definitely a way that you can incorporate um, some geography and some practical um, some more practical hands-on skills into your homeschool also, with every visit, you're going to need material world. And just like the other book, Hungry Planet, showed food, this one is going to show items, right? So if you look here, okay, you can see what this typical family would have and compare to what this typical family would have. And then it also has stats, right? So this one says size of household, size of dwelling, work week, maybe the number of radios they have. Um, their most valued possessions, how much people would make in a year. Um, it just has some very interesting stats. I know a lot of my kids are drawn to stats and some great, great pictures, real people around the world. Right. Also, one of the things that was sent for me to review was music study with the masters. And it comes with two CDs. This is Handle, right? And then it also has a little story, again, that you can read. You can read it to the kids if you have an older one or um, one who's developmentally able to read through the biography that's included, you can do that. And again, one of my absolute favorite times for the kids to listen to this is really when they don't even know that they're listening to it. And that's just in the morning when I wake up and I come downstairs, I turn it on and it just, it sets the tone for the day, you know? And the kids just kind of wake up listening to this and mommy, what are you listening to? What's that? They have lots of questions, right? And that's just a great little way for them to learn about some composers. One of the other things that I had specifically asked to review was, um, their Bible picture portfolio, because for me, it's a great way to make um, something abstract concrete. And I know that for a lot of our kids with special needs, it's difficult to talk about um, their beliefs. So what's really nice about this, I thought, is just the approach. So for example, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, you're going to be reading, and then you're going to ask them to narrate back and then you're going to show them the picture and do some art appreciation with it, All right? So I have a child who is functionally nonverbal and it's very, very difficult for him to do any kind of narration. And so I will tell you that what I do with him is I don't ask him to narrate back, even with his device. He uses a device for communication. What I do instead is I use pictures. And so I love how beautiful these pictures are. And so what I have him do is I might read to him and then I'll use a picture to help him to understand and to anchor his narration. 
right? And so he might point, he might point to the horse here. Or maybe to him, it's not going to look like for look like a horse, and he's going to ask me, "What is that?" And I can teach him how to say, "What is that?" on his device. So I can give him these words as we go along. So that I, so then we can explain. This is what you just heard me read, and then this is the horse that the that the Samaritan put him on. And and, and all of the pictures are beautiful. The next thing is discovering what God has made. This science is so unique. This is a whole year science. And when I first saw this, I remember I got it out of the book and I went, wait, this is, this is a whole year? Like, where's, where's the rest of the science? And I, as I started looking at it, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And it is meant for a whole year. And what's going to happen is your kids are going to create nature notebooks and they, and it has lists of resources and I mean, just everything that you need for science. Okay. So let me just kind of take you through it. Okay. So it tells you the resources that you're going to need. It tells you you're going to need a flowers field guide, a trees field guide, a birds field guide, but it doesn't tell you which one to purchase. Again, I think this is so unique to Simply Charlotte Mason. So I can get one, I can get it, I can get field guides that are specific to where I live. So I don't have to get something that's maybe for North America or for the world. I can get something that's maybe for my city and that's developmentally appropriate for my children. And so I, I have the power to choose one that is gonna work for my kids and I love that I absolutely love that and, um, and then it has um, different books now some of the books I found might be hard for me to find at the library but actually what I did was I went to YouTube and I found videos of people reading the books so it worked um, so this is gonna kind of turn into maybe a literature based science program combined with nature study and um, I mean, and then your children just kind of go based on the days of creation, walking through their year. You're doing maybe two lessons a week. And let me just give you an example of one. So this one was with light. And so it gave you a little checklist here of the things that you need and then it tells you kind of what to do. And then in your notebook, you can maybe color, um, draw for my kids who don't have that fine motor capability. We might take pictures of things we saw out in nature or we might take, um, we might just copy and paste some pictures that we find on the internet to show different kinds of light or maybe, um, pictures of light bulbs and things in our house. And I mean, it can just turn in for my children who can't draw, this can turn into a beautiful um, nature study with their own photographs. And it so then it becomes very personal. And then it also helps them to build language. And that's what I'm looking to do. And I love, love this approach. Love it. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is math, and I have never seen a math curriculum so very unique and so very practical before, and I do think that children, all children, would be able to benefit from this program. Okay, so this one is the Charlotte Mason Elementary Arithmetic Series, book one, okay? So, it also comes with a kit. Now, this is not your typical math book. And so I was really interested when I first started turning the pages. What exactly does it mean? Okay, 
So arithmetic concepts in book one, counting one through a hundred. This is real, that's where the focus is gonna be, is really understanding every single number, number one, all the way through a hundred, and then how those numbers interact using addition and subtraction and equal. Okay. It tells you the supplies that are needed. Your first section is to go one through nine. And it starts with just the symbol for the idea of one. So you're going to write the number one, you're going to count one, your child is going to hand you one, um, you're going to use real things to use the, to uh, represent the number one, and then it goes to two. And then it goes to three. And at the same time, it's also saying, if you have one stick and I give you one more stick, how many sticks is that? And it really helps to solidify the concept. And these are all with manipulatives, right? So really no handwriting is involved um, unless you want it to be. Like, I mean, if you wanted to, you could make a little notebook and, and add some problems there for your child if you wanted to. Uh, but everything can be oral. What's nice about that, again, for my child who is functionally nonverbal and he uses AAC, I don't have to, um, I don't have to purchase a workbook or something for him that I'm trying to figure out how to modify. I can ask him the questions. I can write a problem on a whiteboard and he can answer right there on his AAC device. I think that is beautiful, right? Now, the other part that is very, very unique to this, okay, is this kit because it includes functional items that my kid is used to seeing on a regular basis. Okay, so I'm gonna show you there's some pony beads in here with some pipe cleaners. There are um, some little, I use for my daughter as hair ties, buttons, pencils. And remember, you're looking, you're focusing in this math from what, on numbers one to 100, okay? So what you're going to be doing with this is maybe using little pony beads. And you can do this with any of these buttons the pipe cleaners themselves, pencils. There are all kinds of things that are included in this kit so that you're not running around having to find them all. Okay, so you're teaching your child one. This is one, one. And then at the same time, they're having to learn this is also one. Um, and then you're going over to your pipe cleaner when you get to 10 and you're making a set. And then for your child who needs some fine motor work, you can have them do that themselves. And so here's one, here's two, and you're gonna build all the way up to 10 so that they remember this is 10, right? And so then you have a 10 unit that they built themselves. And then when you get to 20, you've got your next pipe cleaner. And so you're building it. And so they're really understanding math. And it's not abstract anymore, it's concrete because they're using real objects and and it's and they're building everything themselves. Like I I think this is brilliant. I, I think this is absolutely brilliant and such a help for those of us who have kiddos that struggle with math. Okay. And and I would encourage you to take your time through this curriculum. I know a lot of us have kids that struggle with math and just take your time. Don't ever feel like you need to be rushed to finish something in a year. Do not ever feel like you've got to rush your kiddo, that your kiddo's gonna get behind. You want your child to have a firm understanding of concepts. And I think this is a beautiful way to do this. Right. Um, so I hope you find this useful. I hope you've seen that you can really create a very flexible uh, curriculum for your kids using this. And um, yeah, I hope that, I really hope that it takes you on a journey. I know that I certainly enjoy um, researching my own books and finding things that are gonna work for my kids. And I really like how Simply Charlotte Mason gives me that flexibility and encouragement to do so, right? Have a great day.